Max and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you an outfit of the day. So if you're interested in what that is all about, just keep watching. to start with what is on my face so for my eye look I just pretty much use um, my everyday palette that I use the eye uh, the Brooke Shields eyeshadow palette but concentrating mainly on that um, color called expensive pink that is right there the third color in and it is a staple in the Mac line so you are still able to purchase it if you know you're interested in it and then to make it look a little bit different because I pretty much that's like my everyday look especially when I'm going out of town um, I did bring the modern Renaissance palette and that's kind of for nightwear but it's daytime right now so um, I usually use expensive pink on the lid and then I use texture as a transition and then I just use a dark brown matte to kind of smoke out the crease in the V and then what I did to try to make it look just a little bit more sultry was I use this mascara by YSL and it's in this really vibrant blue and I just used it on my bottom lashes and it almost looks black but if the light hits it just right you can see that it's blue so I bought a ton of those so that I am able to get different eye looks without having to pack a bunch of different eyeshadows okay and then what I am using for blush is this MAC blush called stubborn and it kind of gives off like um, it's a pro long wear blush 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 by MAC and it kind of gives off like um, like in between a burgundy and a pink so it's a deeper pink than what a normal like hot pink is and if you just lightly touch it this is what it looks like guys it will give you a nice warm dark pink is how I'll describe it it's not quite fuchsia it's not quite burgundy it's a little deeper than like a rose it's kind of like a magenta kind of but I love it I think it you know adds some warmth to the cheeks and then it looks really great when you mix it with a contour and then my highlight I am using the Laura Mercier highlighter and I'm using indiscretion and that is what is making these here cheeks pop it is off and on rain right here in Cincinnati and it was so hot or it's been so hot that I pretty much had to cover my hair um, for this entire trip except for work I managed to get my hair to stay for work but after that it was a wrap guys and then what I'm using on my lips um, is Kat Von D bow and arrow it's kind of like what's in the center and then I did prime my lips um, and then what I'm using on the outside is Teddy by NYX um, the liquid lingerie so that kind of mixed together is giving me this look so that with that summer kind of glow is going about but it's for a casual like daytime look I am gonna switch tonight when we go out um, to like a little bit more deeper colors but for daytime this is pretty much my everyday look just slightly intensified just a little bit okay now let's get into accessories of course I am wearing my forever famous Eric Javits hat that you guys know that I love hats so I'm in a ton of hats all summer I am wearing um, Chanel studs um, which are just easy to pop on you know what I mean you can just pop them on and go you don't have to you know think about you know switching your earrings out so I pretty much carry like two or three sets of studs and that's pretty much it unless I have like some kind of gala or something then I'll you know pack evening um, jewelry and then I'm just wearing the thin silver necklace the really delicate chain that I got from with like the pyramids on it that ha, that are made out of the crystals that I got from Henry Bendel and it just gives off just a little bit of shine on the chest you know not too much but just just a little bit and then for bracelets I'm wearing the 
um, Hermes Click Clack, and then I'm wearing the Sorcery's Crystal Silver Bangle from Henry Bindle, and then the blue and gold one, the baby blue and gold one that I hauled with you guys, okay? I'm wearing a black leather belt and black Gucci slide-in Princetown shoes. Um, they're really easy to walk around with um, in a city like this if you're in a downtown area. You know, they, you can just kind of slide in and go, and you still kind of have a little bit of style to you, okay? And then for handbag, I am carrying my DeVille tote by Chanel. Um, it's just a really like throw everything in the bag kind of go. So I did a little bit of shopping because I'm close to a Saks Fifth Avenue down here. So I got a few things and it's just kind of, I hate to say it easy to throw stuff in to hide from my husband, <laughs> but like, you know, if we're out and about and you know, we buy a bottle of water or something like that, it's really simple to kind of throw it in a bag like this. So normally I'd like to have like a small bag to do crossbody, but I'm loving this tote, I will say. This tote has really bought back a lot of love for totes for me. And then I'm wearing just a pinstripe light blue and white button up that I held with you guys from Lane Bryant. And then I'm just wearing cut off jean distressed shorts, um, I believe from American Eagle. Um, and then that's it. Okay, so I am going to step back. Um, give me a minute though, because I gotta find a really good camera <laughs> angle to um, get the full body shot since I'm not at home and I'm in a hotel room. guys that's everything that I have for you um, I really appreciate it shout out to all my subscribers new and old we have gained quite a few new subscribers and I am so excited to have you guys um, so welcome aboard we are really close to 2,000 guys and as soon as we get there I am going to do the next giveaway so I'm going to start planning it now because we're really really close um, I am going to go ahead and join the festivities outside and I'll holler at y'all later okay <laughs>